Straight Outta Compton is a story about the group NWA, the rise and subsequent fall of the seminal rap group that changed history. I think that when you think about NWA, you think about where you were when you first heard the truth in entertainment. No holds bar, no censor, no filters, no nothing. And it tapped into the rebel in all of us. And when you get just a lot of kind of homogenized information and very care carefully crafted information and, and, and canned answers and just things that feel very manufactured. When you listen to NWA, all that's out the door. You just listen to the truth. Here's the truth, here's what's happening, where we live. Um, sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but it's the truth. And that's what was refreshing about the music. And at the time, and I think still to this day, people are starving for the truth. And that's what made the group really special. We had to shoot this movie in Los Angeles because LA is a character. You watch Casino and Vegas is a character. You, you, it, it, it's just, it, it, you can't shoot this movie anywhere else because there are just so many cultural elements that make up Los Angeles from anything as simple as the palm trees, which is something very beautiful, but just below at the foot of these palm trees, you can witness an execution. And just the contrast of the sunny days and how beautiful it is, but how dangerous it is. It's like a Venus flytrap. It's something very pretty, but it can eat you alive if you get caught up. These guys have to perform the songs, not just, uh, you know, rely on the original songs to play in the movie, but they have to sound like Dre, Easy Cube, and Ren. And just frankly, I wasn't, I, I wasn't sure it was gonna work. I, I just felt like, okay, these guys can act. They have street credibility. They can perform, but can they sound like NWA? And Harvey, our producer, assured me in the beginning that he could recreate the NWA sound with my actors. And I said, well, you go for it. I didn't believe him, but I said, you go for it. And he did, and what you hear in some parts of the movie are the actors actually performing the songs. And it's uncanny, because there was a couple times that Dre listened to the music and he thought it was his original music. And that's a testament to Harvey. Amazing producer, and the guys did a great job recreating the sound and the performances of Strata Compton. That's what makes this movie very universal and relatable to all people. It's not just about LA or hip hop or rap music. You know, it's, it's about a group of guys and their relationship and how it's challenged and how outside forces, be it money, fame, um, things that challenge the everyday person, resources, egos, could destroy a love. And while it's not a history lesson, although it is history, and it's not a preachy movie. Although, if you look close, you might learn something. It's entertaining, but I think everyone will find something that they can relate to in this movie. One of the most exciting things about making this movie was capturing a, a snapshot of American popular culture history. As a filmmaker, you're a world, a world builder, 
and it, and a lot of times it's, it's it's set in a fictional world, but this is not only history; it's American history; it's world history, and so I get a chance to put on my journalist hat and be a historian, and for decades and centuries to come when people say what was happening in Los Angeles in American popular culture in America in the 80s and 90s this is a small part of our history and that is one of the most important things to me to be involved in in, in all of my career.